With me is a big group, uh, is Dr. Berlakis' uh, team from Dallas. Um, Dr. Berlakis is a director of the cath lab at uh, VA Dallas, and he's a professor of medicine at UT Houston, Southwestern. Western. Thank you. Thanks again. It's a pleasure to be here today. I would like to introduce our team that uh, has made the IC cataract booth here at uh, Sky 2016. Uh, starting from the left is Aya Alame, Bhavan Arangan, who runs our research operations together with Michelle Rosley. Then is my brother, Harry Brilak, an ophthalmologist, came specifically from Greece all the way for this, uh, for this exam. <laughs> then we have Ari Karatasakis, yeah. and then we have Barbara Dainik, and then we have Jessica Wintronk, which is our interventional fellow for next year. So we have a very diverse group, they're working very hard for the last uh, day and a half, and already have screened uh, more than 70 patients. Awesome. 70 participants. participants. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more about the risk of red, uh, radiation for interventionists and what is th uh, the whole initiative beh behind this project? Sure. Well, this all started because um, we, we know that we're getting a lot of radiation as part of our daily routine in the cath lab. And um, earlier group, you know, Bhavana, of course, and myself have been for a long time with us. Uh, we've done already some studies looking at techniques to try to reduce the radiation exposure of the operator and the patient. And, this has not been done in a systematic way in a major medical meeting like this one. So when we were at ACC, uh, we had this idea of potentially coordinating an exam of people who expressed interest of being screened, and but more convenient than doing it here in the meeting in the middle of a major meeting. So the goal is to help people understand the risks and actually check for themselves if they have any damage due to radiation so far. So it's a more awareness and also to look into the um, the major majority of depth uh, of the problem, right? Exactly. Yeah. Dr. Barakis, I mean, is this the first time you're working with a cardiologist or is it because it happened because he's your brother? Uh, it is indeed. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> Never had a chance to work with cardiologists or ca for cardiologists. Yeah. But it's a very interesting topic though. It is. Have you thought of ever you were going to work with a cardiologist before? I was beyond my dreams. <laughs> okay. like, <why> <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, a research fellow with Dr. Berlakis Bar Lab, um, and you are a graduate from Greece. So tell us about your experience so far with this project. Well, this has been amazing. Uh, Dr. Berlakis is an exceptional mentor, I dare say, and that it is the truth. Uh, concerning this project specifically, it has been very interesting for me, particularly because um, it has been a prospective project, right? So I've been working a lot of retrospective stuff, and the team does do a lot of prospective stuff as well. But uh, for me, this has been the first one. And I've had the opportunity to see it uh, right from the beginning, uh, from when it took shape, writing up the protocol and uh, everything. So it, it has been amazing to just be part of the whole process. And uh, certainly a very, very useful experience for me for my future. So at the end of the study, are you going to be applying for ophthalmology or cardiology? <laughs> well, I'm really, I'm really torn now because <laughs> I've seen how easy uh, Dr. Brilakis has it inside the booth. <laughs> No stress and a good lifestyle. Uh, she is truly, she's truly the, the, the force behind this whole study, I awesome. dare say, after seeing him work so hard. I see. All right. All right, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, Dr. Provakis, where are you going to take this uh, project further? I mean, are you going to present this uh, uh, to initiative in D.C. and increase awareness? Or how is it going to move forward? So, we don't know for sure yet, but already people are talking, having this at TCT, having in other major meetings. And of course, you know, I have to say that this one was funded by the Dallas uh, VA Research, Corp Research Corporation. So we had a lot of support from them to be able to organize this and get the people in and the equipment we needed. But I think the, inter the interest was overwhelming. We had so many people who are trying to come and get this done. So I think we'll continue. And what do you ad what's your advice right now to interventionists? What kind of protective measures they should take in the cath lab? That's a great question. I guess in a nutshell, is don't step on the floor when you don't need it. Don't need it. Use um, low frame fluoroscopy and use your seals and position the seals as close as they can. And if you're a rich one, you can buy a robotic system or buy the one hanging from the ceiling. So there are many other ways, but the basic things I think can really make a big difference right now. Uh, radial versus femoral axis, does that matter? So it does. There was a meta-analysis in Lancet that there is some increased radiation exposure if you do radial. Having said that, that applies more to the more complex procedures, CTOs, previous bypass patients. I think if it's a general cath, it's not as big of a difference, but especially for less experienced operators, radial does have increased radiation exposure. Okay. Another question to the ophthalmologist. Uh, is family history is a risk factor for cataract? Absolutely, there's many different risk factors. And um, there is a way to tell if it's um, been caused by exposure to radiation, 
um, depending on the location of the lens opacity, right. if it's more of the posterior subcapsular area. Uh, but family history does play a significant role as well. Right. So if and somebody, uh, oh sorry. Uh, uh, and if we if we see someone with uh, loss of senile lens changes, and uh, we also see that they also happen to have a posterior subcapsular cataract, if they've been exposed to steroids uh, or uh, a trauma. Uh, there's no way to tell that uh, this has been caused by Is There radiation. should be uh, a certain interval to look for a cataract in general population or people who uh, have high exposure to radiation? In the general population, uh, unless they have symptoms, we start looking for cataracts at an older age, really. But uh, uh, in interventional cardiologists, with the, their exposure, I mean, an annual check would be probably a good idea. Every, every the truth is, though, that um, so far we're not seeing as much cataract, cataracts as we expected, and uh, that probably has to do with the fact that uh, everybody is using protection the way they I should. Right, right, right. Thank you. At the end, I would like to. Uh, any final well, comments? I think one thing I want to say. Yeah, so please. I think you know this project gave an idea a month ago. I just got to say during ACC meeting, and it's actually thanks in large, ex large extent to Bavana's efforts. So Bavana Rangan is our Kalisa operations, and she really. I mean, it's a team effort, of, team, of course, but. Really, I want to say that you know, Bhavana really took the energy and the organizational mind, which um, you know is superb. You know, took, it's, it seems easy, but it's a lot of planning that went into this, and a big part of this goes to Bhavana and myself, of course, who work very closely together, get it done with all the team as well. I would like just to pass the microphone and in one or two words describe Dr. Berlakis and his project. Oh wow, good, um, <laughs> prolific yeah. and. Um, an exceptional man to work with. Yeah, exact. I mean, he's an exceptional mentor and human being, and I think that's what. And he makes a, he sets a great example for a team. So you know, teamwork makes the dream work, right? So, yeah. Maya, anything? Um, sure. Well, yeah, as the junior most <laughs> member of the yeah. team. Yeah, as the youngest member, I'm just here doing clinical research for a year before I start med school. And Dr. Brilakis has just been an amazing mentor. Very diverse. Yeah. Very diverse group. Aris, any final words before we apply? Well, thank you. <laughs> Barbara. Thank you. I'm also incredibly grateful to Dr. Berlakis and the whole team for involving us in, in studies like this. Uh, it's just been an incredible opportunity and, and a huge learning experience. Thank you. Um, I just want to thank every participant uh, at this meeting who's gracious enough to take their time to come out and really make this a great experience for all of us. Thank you. Thank you all. And thank you like as well uh, and please uh, follow the full video on um, uh, sky tv channel on youtube and also the hashtag sky 2016 thank you